Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. As a black gay man, it's one of my life's dreams to travel more of the world, especially the motherland. But many of these countries have a reputation for being anti-gay. Now to be clear, just because countries like the US, the UK, or France have LGBT districts and gay-friendly legislation doesn't mean they are utopias, but at least there are structures in place set up to support LGBTQ citizens, human rights. Many of the countries that criminalize LGBT identities are in Africa, but there is a change on the horizon. There are many African countries erasing their homophobic laws and, and even some that have been leaders for LGBT rights for many years. I did a quick survey of African cities with the best LGBTQ legislation in the history of community progress from several gay travel sites online. If you are from these places or visited, I'd love to hear your feedback on how accurate this list may be from your perspective, or if I missed any cities. Here's a quick list of the gayest cities in Africa. Number 1. Cape Town, South Africa I have previously highlighted Cape Town as the gay capital of Africa, being deemed the most gay-friendly city on the continent with roughly 4 million locals. Cape Town is one of the largest cities in South Africa and has, a, and has had neighborhoods or LGBTQ districts called the Waterkant for many years. Like many other major metropolitan cities, Cape Town has hosted an annual gay pride parade throughout the city's streets that attracts thousands of attendees since 1993. The idea that Africa is inherently homophobic is crazy considering South Africa was the first government in the world to legalize gay rights. The South African government has had anti-discrimination laws in spaces like employment since 1995, same-sex marriage since 2006, becoming the fifth country in the world and the very first in Africa to grant gay marriage to its citizens. Many gay locals from South Africa call Cape Town Mother City because of its groundbreaking supportive environment for gay people on the African continent. The Mother City Queer Project is also the name of an annual costume party held in Cape Town that celebrates the legalization of gay rights in the country's constitution in 1994. Out in Africa is an annual gay and lesbian film festival which has been celebrating gay films in Africa since 1994 and is still considered one of the most renowned LGBTQ film festivals in the world. Plus, Cape Town has countless drag bars, dance clubs, and gay-owned and gay-friendly restaurants like Beefcakes, Zero 021, and the Pink Panthers. Number 2. Johannesburg, South Africa Johannesburg is the biggest city in South Africa with over 5 million people. It's the country's urban and commercial center that also has a vibrant LGBTQ community. The first South African Pride Parade, and likely the first gay pride in all of Africa, was held towards the end of the apartheid in Johannesburg on the 13th of October in 1990, and was organized by gay rights legend Simon Nkoli and his affiliates. Johannesburg's South African Pride is considered the largest and oldest LGBT pride event on the African continent, and is held annually in October with thousands of attendees each year. The two neighborhoods called Melville and Ilovo are considered the gayest parts of Johannesburg, and they are both toward the north of the city. It's in these neighborhoods where there are the most gay-owned and friendly clubs and restaurants you can find in Joburg. Besides Pride, there are numerous popular gay bars for socialization like Babylon, Rats Bar, Beef Cakes, Liquid Blue, Kitchener's, just to name a few. Johannesburg is also the center of the South African fashion industry, with many respected gay fashion designers like David Tlale, Neo Sorati Mafa Mary, and Tula Cindy, with stores and studios thriving in the city. Port Louis, Mauritius. Mauritius, an African country with a massive South Asian population, is becoming a leader in LGBT rights on the continent. Compared to the other cities on this list, it's a much smaller city with only 150,000 people in Port Louis. As I've mentioned in previous videos, Mauritius has many pros like lower crime rates and progressing LGBTQ rights, but I've also heard cons online like issues with racism and colorism being pervasive in the country. Either way, Mauritius has had anti-discrimination laws in place for LGBTQ people in public spaces since 2008. Ironically though, same-sex intimacy was legalized just last year in 2023. LGBTQ Mauritians don't have to worry about being accepted in the military because Mauritius is one of the few nations in the world to have no active military presence. 
In Mauritius, there are several organizations that work for the rights of LGBTQ communities, including Collective RNCO, Young Queer Alliance, Association, Visa G, and PILS. Founded in 2005, Collective RNCO, meaning Rainbow Collective, is the pioneer and premier organization for the LGBTQ community in Mauritius. The Rainbow Collective organized the first Pride in Mauritius and has been doing so for the last 15 years, gathering a few thousand participants in 2016. Windhoek, Namibia Namibia is another country with a rising progressive culture for its gay citizens. Windhoek is Namibia's capital and largest city with a little under half a million people. Anti-gay discrimination in public spaces and employment has been illegal in the Namibian courts since 2021. And in 2023, Namibian courts began recognizing legal same-sex marriages from other countries, giving gay families and their kids much-needed legal support in the country. That will definitely give LGBTQ Namibians incentive to get married in South Africa or another affirming country and come back home, depending on the country's laws and who's involved. Namibian gay men have participated in Mr. Gay World Pageant since 2011, creating activists and spokesmen for the gay community. Men who have sex with men in Namibia are allowed to donate blood, something many countries like America still don't allow. Namibian political parties that support LGBTQ rights include the All People's Party and the Popular Democratic Movement. In a previous episode, I covered the film Kapana, the first gay Namibian movie that premiered in 2020. There's still a battle to legalize same-sex intimacy in the courts, which makes no sense considering they already have anti-discrimination laws and recognition of same-sex marriages from abroad. Lutherans in Namibia accept gay Christians in their churches, and though there is really no gay club scene in Namibia, gay tourists are encouraged to visit some of Namibia's popular resorts and safaris. Number 5. Luanda, Angola Luanda is Angola's largest city, with a whopping 8.3 million inhabitants. Angola has a rich history of same-sex unions in several of their indigenous ethnic groups like the Ivumbundu and the Ambundu prior to colonization, but many LGBT Angolans feel much work is needed to be done for LGBTQ Angolans to feel safe. Since 2015, Angola's government has had anti-discrimination laws in place, including sexual orientation. In 2021, same sexual acts were legalized, and even single parent adoption, regardless of sexual orientation, became legalized as well. Hate speech in public spaces is also illegal, so it looks like the Angolan government is progressing. People living with HIV are entitled to proper health care and no discrimination in the workplace. Though legal progress has been made, Angola is not out of the woods. Just this year, in March of 2024, a prominent gay rights activist, Carlos Fernandez, who was instrumental in advocating for the recent legal progresses made in the courts, was killed in his home in Luanda. Activists in Angola urge asylum-granting countries abroad to realize that legalizing gay people's rights in Angola doesn't always translate to real safety and support in the home country. There are some prominent gay activists in Angolan media, like Corey Du, a TV personality, producer, and Latin Grammy Award-winning artist, or Kiki Petrova, the director of the prominent human rights agency, LGBT Angola. 